welcome to the third Wasaga Beach Chamber of Commerce Virtual Business After Five. My name is Colleen Bannerman, owner and operator of Wasaga Tax and Accounting and RBA Financial Group Wasaga, and the current president of the Chamber of Commerce. Reminder that this Business After Five is being recorded, so then you can always go back and um, get any of the websites or um, links or anything that you may need. First, I'd like to take a moment to thank all the frontline and essential workers in our community, their families and the businesses that have stepped up to offer support to those affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. One way or another, we as human beings are all affected by the situation we find ourselves in and it is when we support each other that we will remain together strong. Having said that, Sarah Ritchie, the Chamber Administrator, wanted to inject some fun and levity into the atmosphere for our meeting today. Perhaps put a spring in our step and on the screen to welcome everyone. I encourage you to sit back, relax, grab a beverage, take notes and enjoy the networking, sharing of information and support you will receive as we navigate these unique times together. We're excited to have the participants this evening. And as you all are aware now that you've been working with Zoom for a while and other platforms, that there are sometimes challenges. So please be patient if we need to iron them out. We will um, provide Alex Colthart from 44 as the guest speaker with a list of the participants. So then he can contact you for a future follow-up. We are going to start the meeting with the opportunity for all the participants to give a quick 20 to uh, second or so introduction. Say your name, business, and if your business is open and how you are navigating the situation. I will say your name as we go around the group so you know when your turn is. Sarah will unmute you so you can speak. Please be mindful of the length as we do want to get to our guest speakers and announcements for the meeting. We will follow the introductions with our guest speaker, a question and answer time, prize draws, upcoming events and announcements, and a very important update on another new exciting new launch for the chamber, followed by closing remarks. Our aim is to be finished by seven o'clock. So let's start with introductions. All right, I think I might be able to just do it right from the screen. So we're going to skip Alex and go to Joanne because Alex will have lots of time to speak later. Go ahead, Joanne. Great. So uh, my name is Joanne Colfitz-Patrick. Uh, I am with the uh, a franchise partner with the Juice Plus Company. I am open. Um, we are grateful to have a business that is remote and I can anywhere I have, have my phone or my, my laptop, I can do my business globally. So That's awesome. Uh, Fiona, are you ready to speak? I'm helping Michael out right now with me, a restaurant, but, um, I'm Fiona Fitzdashi, and I usually I usually do uh, auto and home and commercial insurance liability. I have my own office in Masega here, um, Kitty Corner uh, office there at a Mia restaurant, and uh, I'm being kicked out of my spot here. So <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I, I'm too busy to really talk much. I can just listen to you guys. No worries. Thanks, Fiona. Uh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Kathy Mulgrew, go ahead. Uh, I'm Kathy Mulgrew uh, with Stonebridge Wasaga Beach Blues. Uh, as you're all aware by now, we postponed the 2020 festival, uh, which is our 10th anniversary festival, until 2021. We're actually a little excited at the moment because we're working on a project to do uh, a virtual um, history uh, of the last 10 years of uh, Stonebridge Wasaga Beach Blues and uh, assuming we're successful it will be playing during the time that uh, the festival would normally take place. That's fantastic. Great idea. Donna. Um, 
mute it. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, Donna Pacheco. I work at Tracks Employment of the Collingwood, but I live in Wasaga Beach. And um, I manage a public resource room, so that's been really challenging lately. So we're looking at, we were providing services virtually, but I'm really looking at ways to connect with people face to face. So we're going to set up a canopy outside the office and just see if we can have some distance meetings. We really need the personal contact for the type of work we do. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're working our way through it. And now that the weather's a little bit better, you're able to exactly. have it outside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I definitely volunteer this time of year. <laughs> Nancy? You can hear me? Yes. Okay. I have two businesses. They're both virtual. They used to be personal. Um, I have a program called Women, Worth, and Wellness, and I do uh, special events. Did a big one, International Women's Day, and of course, that was the day the world fell apart. Have a big one coming up on uh, October 28th, which is uh, all virtual, of course. Um, Women's College Hospital, etc. I'll send the link so that it's there. My other business is I'm establishing a chapter in Southern Georgian Bay for Tech, which is the executive committee for CEOs of small businesses with annual revenue of one to 10. And it's a peer-to-peer -peer confidential uh, advisory group. Thanks, Colleen. Great. Cindy? We're having a little difficulty with your audio, Cindy. Do you have your audio on? Is it there now? Yes, it is. Thank okay, you. good. Um, sorry, I'm, I've got two screens and, and I should be looking here, but everybody else is over here. So kind of, <laughs> and that's the first background I put on. So it's kind of freaking me out looking at the college behind me because I'm not I wondered really, what that was. <laughs> I'm not nice. really there. I was just fiddling around before, uh, before we all started. And I thought, I don't know if I really like that. <laughs> but anyways, um, I guess some, what I wanted to share uh, with everyone tonight, we are still operating remotely. Um, all of our courses, especially our academic upgrading, is continuing on through the summer. We're offering um, our sciences, uh, communications, and math. And we also have some specialized programs, which um, some of you may be interested in. And the one right now uh, we'll be starting in two weeks. It's called Ramp Up to Office Admin. And it's a free program. And um, skills development include uh, Microsoft, um, Windows, Word, Excel, Outlook, and um, it kind of gives you a taste of what it's like if you're interested in going into office admin without actually starting the course or having to pay and then maybe realizing you're not so interested in it. So it'll be um, letters, budgets, sales projections, all that nice little bit that you would need for office admin. And um, I wanted to mention it because as people do have a bit of free time, some people do on their hands, um, you know, feel free to to um, mention it to, you know, if you have some coworkers or if you have some staff that are at home that aren't working right now, or maybe yourself, um, you have a little bit of free time. So it's done in modules, you can do it bit by bit. Um, and again, it is a free program, just contact me and, and we can get you started. Thank you. You're welcome. Jenny? Mute. Okay, hi. <laughs> um, so I'm from Free Spirit Tours and we do canoeing, kayaking, and stand up paddle boarding on the Nottawasaga River. And so what we've done this year because of the COVID is that we're doing all of our bookings online. And uh, so you reserve online, you book your time, you book your boat, and then we um, meet you at the Wasaga Beach Sports Park and then you paddle up into Jack's Lake and then you come back down to the sports park. So it takes about two hours and um, it's a hit. People love it. So um, we're pretty excited about it. And um, we're also doing 
a grab and go. So if you want to just, you know, rent a kayak or a stand up paddle board for the day, you can just come over to our place and we'll, you know, you just grab it and then you go. And then we'll also do a cottage delivery. So um, we've got three different options. Yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, Tara. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. Great. Uh, my name is Tara Orm Latre, and I am the sales supervisor at 97.7 Max FM. Um, as you all know, we have always been open. Um, the office has been closed to most of the salespeople, uh, myself included. And we, in order to be able to have Catherine and Ben and the essential people that are integral to keeping our station um, local and up to date with all of the news coming in. Um, that being said, we are all still working remotely and still meeting clients um, if they'd like to meet. Um, distancing ourselves, we're wearing masks, et cetera, this, the usual protocol. Uh, but we have been really working with some of the local restaurants in Wasaga and surrounding area to um, put together our takeout stakeout. I don't know if any of you have seen the video on our Facebook page, but it's quite uh, entertaining. Mm -hmm. Ben has been going to different restaurants and doing um, takeout videos just to show the ease of ordering from the restaurants and being able to pick up safely because I know there's still a lot of people out there who aren't taking advantage of those things. And um, aside from that, we're offering, as I think I mentioned in our last After Five, um, some incentives and um, some great deals for people if you're interested in advertising. Um, give me a call and uh, or call Thomas, depending on who your rep is, and we can help you get something uh, started, whether it be digital or radio. And that's all. Thanks. Thanks, Tara. Tammy? Can you hear me okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, because I'm working from my phone here. I had to call in. I had problems with my sound a couple of times. So I'm Tammy Smith with Allstate Insurance. And yes, we are absolutely open for business. We have been from day one. We are working from home, all agents. But the office is the offices are open if you want to make an appointment. Some people still prefer to do business face-to-face, -face, and we do have protocol in place. So it's a safe environment to go there if you want to. And I just wanted to put a reminder out to all of you. Um, you may not know this because I think it's been kind of under wraps for some reason, but um, Allstate actually has a group discount on home and auto for all chamber members. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the need right now, it's a great time to call. We do have a great um, discount for all of the members of the chamber. Just make sure you contact me directly. That's awesome. Thank you. I think it is on our website. Yeah, I think it's pretty new. One of our partners. That one. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Good. Glad. Tyler? Hi, everyone. I'm Tyler Rollins from Key Mortgage Partners. Uh, we're still open, doing everything virtual. So it's kind of nice. I'm not using as much ink as I usually do and saving some trees. Uh, rates are good right now. So if you're looking to purchase or refinance, I think that's the lowest I've ever seen rates. Or if you just need some advice, feel free to give me a call. If you've got your mortgage anywhere else, you're paying too much. Thank you. Selena. Hello, everybody. Sorry I came in a bit late there. Um, my name is Selena Blay. I own Georgian Life Media Inc. So we are a local publication that comes out every month with distribution from Thornbury to Wasaga Beach, Stainer, Creamore, Collingwood. Um, we're open, although working from home. I miss you, Tara. <laughs> um, so yeah, obviously we're, um, open for people, businesses to advertise. We're working on finishing up the July issue right now. Um, it's been interesting. There's no events except for this week, there's been a few events finally coming to fruition and the farmer's markets are opening and um, people are graduating and having a bit of a celebration. So things are getting back to some sort of normalcy, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, we don't have any photo booth bookings, surprisingly enough, but hopefully those will uh, come back in the fall or spring or kind of enjoying the weekends off though and not working. So. All good at Georgian Life Media. 
good for you. Linda? Um, good evening. I'm Linda Jeffrey, and uh, my business is Whim Seekers Travel. Um, as you might guess, I'm not doing a whole lot other than canceling trips and uh, uh, sending out future travel vouchers. <laughs> it seems to be the, the way things are going. Uh, but I'm not really letting that hold me back. I, I'm, I've been in the midst of doing a little bit of a pivot with Sarah Ritchie's help. Uh, starting a blog website. So it's um, just doing a lot of uh, material build up right now and getting getting set to, to get that. Um, I'm going to really bang out some stuff over the summer and uh, really excited about that direction that I'm going. I'll still have some travel stuff um, with the blog, but I don't think that I'm going to see a, a whole lot of uh, travel happening in the next few months, um, maybe in Canada, but I don't think we'll see a whole lot uh, start back up. So have to look at the bright side and find some other things to do. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sue. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Sue Connell. I'm the Treasurer Administrator for Wasiga Beach Ministerial Food Bank. Um, things are certainly different at the food bank than what they have been. We are actually seeing less clients than what we've seen in the past, although um, we had volunteers that contacted as many of our clients as we could, and since then we're having a few more come in. Some people just thought we were closed, and um, <clears throat> but we are doing things differently. We're not letting uh, clients in. We have a limited number of volunteers. They're taking all precautions. Um, they're doing a pre-packed box rather than allowing the clients to choose what they uh, what they would have in their box. However, um, a volunteer does go out and ask them if there's anything special they need. So if there are things they want, they can ask for that. And providing we have them, we can give them. We've had many, many, many donations. It's just been overwhelming how wonderful the community is and people all across the country, really. Canada helps. Uh, people are donating through that like crazy and we did get a fair bit of money through that big concert and um, through the Food Bank Canada um, fundraisers that they did and the County of Simcoe also made a healthy donation to us. We just have to do a whole lot of paperwork to say what we spent it on and those kind of things. Um, we did have a problem in the beginning getting food with shopping because things were wiped off the shelves but that's all seems to have settled down a lot now. And, on, and the Feed Ontario um, organization themselves, they've been able to get their hands on a lot more food than normal. So our clients are getting very well served with what they're uh, taking home in their food boxes. And that's been uh, been really great. So um, I am, a, uh, my husband and I are members of the Stainer Chamber of Commerce for our own two businesses. We're in the bottled water business and the firewood business. And we've been swamped, just completely run off our feet. There's been no rest happening here. A little bit envious of everyone who's sitting home knitting and doing all those things because we're working really, really hard. And uh, and we sold out of all of our wood that we normally would sell all summer. So we're, we're not doing deliveries till after the middle of July. We're going to dip into our winter wood and then we don't know what's going to happen. Um, the water business, they've been out of bottles a few times and not been able to provide us our regular order. So everything's just like juggle, juggle, juggle every day. <laughs> but we're getting through it and uh, Anyway, just hope that everybody keeps themselves safe because so many of the younger generation just don't even believe that this virus is a problem or that it's going to affect anybody. I heard a great uh, show on CBC Radio the other day when I was driving and it was, a, it was an Indigenous people talking about their powwows and the announcer asked this woman, how, would, how were they going to get along without doing their powwows? And this was her answer, which I thought was just so incredible. She said, there'll be time for other powwows. We are fighting an invisible enemy. It's time to pause. And I just thought yeah. that was just such a great, great saying. Anyway, good luck to everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, have I missed anyone? All right. Well, thank you for all your uh, sharing of introductions. Now I'd like to introduce Alex Calthart, the owner of 44. He will have the floor now. 
to share tips for your digital presence. And we will have a question and answer time after he speaks. So Alex, go ahead. Thank you. I'm just going to share my screen here. Can everyone see that? Not yet. There, there we are. There we go. Okay. I, I'm not a huge fan of doing PowerPoint presentations in Zoom because I can't really see anyone. It looks like I'm staring at a screen, but nonetheless, I'm Alex Coulthart. I run a company called 44 Inc. Um, and uh, I kind of wanted to talk tonight about the idea of your digital presence and how, um, you know, even though we're kind of slowly opening things up, there's still a benefit of marketing your company digitally. Uh, if you haven't already. So it was nice to hear that someone's building a website and doing a blog. I think that that's awesome. And uh, I touched upon that a little bit uh, in the presentation here. So, da, da, da. so who is 44? So I actually launched this company officially uh, in June uh, 26, uh, 2019. So tomorrow is my one year anniversary for running 44 Inc. Uh, it's, I'm not new to being an entrepreneur though. I actually started my first company when I was uh, 17. So 19 years ago, I started my first video production company. And uh, I worked in TV, music videos, commercials, uh, and corporate productions prior to getting into digital marketing. Uh, and the focus of 44 Inc. though is for content creation and digital marketing. So these are some of my clients that I've had over the last year. And so to get a little bit more detail into what is content marketing. Uh, so we produce high quality videos starting from building a concept. So someone might come to us with just an idea and we'll kind of expand on that and build that concept, figure out how long it needs to be, write the scripts, actually shoot the production and then edit it together. We also have a group of photographers that we work with. So for product shots or headshots, things like that. Um, and then we have graphic designers. We have a team that builds websites for us. So basically anything that you can think of for your business digitally or for print, uh, we can take care of that. So some people might have seen this video. I produced a video for Mike Jackson when COVID first started. So hopefully everyone can hear it as I play it, if it plays. No, it's not gonna play. Well, I'm going to have to share a link to that. I don't know what's going on there. Someone made this joke to me recently that if I can't get a video to play on a screen that I should because of all my skills, but I say I'm not an IT person, so I don't know what's going on here. So I apologize for that. I will send everyone a link to this later on. But this is some of the photos that uh, we've done over the last little bit. We work with a bunch of real estate agents, uh, a lot of automotive groups uh, still work with us. And then we work with a couple of different uh, custom home designers. So digital marketing, social media marketing, our social media management is kind of the key to what we do for our clients. So we manage your social media accounts and we post on your behalf. Our job is to engage your followers. We do community management as well. So that's more in the sense of us going to like other people's posts and comments, uh, and then also commenting on your posts and handling your direct messages. If your business is on social media, then your business is never closed. And the reason I say that is that a lot of people kind of forget about those direct messages that you're getting on social media accounts and you don't respond to them, you leave them in the scene category. And those are potential leads, potential sales that a lot of businesses just forget about. And so for me, social media is a 24 seven thing. The other thing that we'd offer is Google AdWords. So for me, Google AdWords is kind of the modern day yellow pages. People search on Google for a business that they need to get a hold of. For example, someone might just type in a plumber. So they don't actually know the company name that they're looking for, but they're just looking for a plumber. 
you need to make sure that your business shows up at the top of that list. So for Facebook, is your business on Facebook? A lot of people have a personal account, but do you have an actual business account as well? If not, you need to consider building a Facebook account because you can actually advertise your products, your services, and now you can actually sell on Facebook directly. So something for if you're actually selling the product, you could have uh, a basically a store on Facebook. If your business is on Facebook, is everything up to date? Does your profile photo fit within the circle? That's the image. And do you have a cover photo? Does everything look a certain way? So I wanted to show that that's 44 Inc. If I didn't customize the logo up in the top left photo, that's it down in the bottom right. So there's little things like that that just really make your, your Facebook account look way more professional. For Instagram, uh, do you have a business, a business Instagram account? Um, people consider that from time to time that sometimes you need a, an Instagram account. Um, can you connect? You can connect your Instagram account to your Facebook. Um, so then when you post on Instagram, it posts directly onto your Facebook account. So you don't have to post in both places. A lot of people don't use YouTube for advertising. And 5 million videos are watched a day on YouTube. And 30 million visitors visit YouTube every single day. And I'm pretty sure it's like 9 million videos are posted every minute. Something crazy like that. Um, but the reason I was bringing it up as far as advertising goes is that we've all watched YouTube videos where you've got that 15 second pre-roll advertisement that happens before the actual video you want to watch. We can actually do those videos for you and target it to people within Wasaga Beach or Collingwood or wherever your business is located. So it's getting to the right people, but it's a different market that not a lot of people are actually hitting upon, especially locally right now. The other idea within YouTube is the fact that you could be making how-to videos. Of course, if you have a promotional video or any interviews or anything else that you could, you could share, it's just another platform to get things out. So some of the uh, social media stats is the fact that during COVID, Facebook has increased by 70%. The audience is right there right now to look for advertising. So if you aren't doing boosted ads and trying to get your business out on Facebook, this is the time to do it. There's uh, 3.8 billion uh, users now on Facebook, which is just absolutely crazy. The best day to actually post is Wednesday. So there is math and science behind what we do. Uh, I won't tell my high school teachers that, but um, Wednesday is the best day. Sunday is actually the worst day to post for engagements. And then the best times are 9.30 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m., of course. 9.30 a.m. is because that's when people are rolling into work when they were actually in their office or, you know, jumping onto the computer at home. And within 30 minutes, they're probably surfing the web. And 3 p.m. is because basically everyone's already checked out at work around 3, 4 o'clock. And 7 p.m. is when everyone's finished dinner. So with websites, um, the key is to make sure that your website's up to date. Uh, and that could even just be a landing page. If you don't actually have a website yet for your business or your brand, just having a landing page. And when I say a landing page, it's literally, there's no menu, there's nothing. It's just your information for the, for the company and a way to contact you. But just like I said before, if you're not on Google, there's no way that anyone's gonna find you. That's the yellow pages these days for us. If you have a website, consider building a blog. Again, we just talked about that, that someone's building a blog and I think that's great. Uh, it's a way to engage new visitors and kind of refresh everything you've got going on. Uh, another thing is to consider building an e-commerce website. So an e-commerce website is the idea that you can actually sell a product or even a service on your website with ever having to talk to someone. So the fact that you could sell something on a Sunday at 1130 at night. Another thing to consider is the fact of have you actually set up a Google My Business? If your business is not on Google, it's free. It takes about five days to do because Google actually has to send you a code in the mail. 
but setting up Google My Business is a key, again, to be able to have people write reviews about your business, uh, figure out where you are, what times you're open, uh, and just get any other information they can about you. To me, a website is key because you can spend money on Google AdWords and have a great social media presence, but if your website doesn't match who you are as a brand, isn't up to date, people are actually gonna stop and they're not gonna contact you after that. So things to remember, don't post every single day. There's people that say you should post three times a day on social media to have any sort of effect and it's, it's ineffective. Uh, businesses and brands have different ways of marketing themselves. So if you see a company that's doing something on social media, it might work for them, but it might not work for how you're running things. Snap photos wherever you can, um, even if it's a brand new product or you're at you know, an on-site where you can take a photo of something before and then take an after. It's, it's amazing the things that you can do with having that photo versus just having kind of a, a written caption. And then remember that video actually has a higher engagement rate than any photo. So if you're thinking about snapping a photo and you're at work, maybe consider taking a little tiny video of it and you'll see that the engagement is much higher. And then don't forget to actually update your user accounts on any social media platforms and your website. So finally, uh, the fact that tomorrow is my one year anniversary, I'm offering everyone here uh, a discount uh, for social media management, or you can also just give me a call uh, and we can do some sort of consultation for you to look at your business and see how we can help. Um, but that's my kind of way of saying thank you for everyone to listening to my spiel and, and being on this Zoom call, because I know we're probably all loving Zoom calls still. But that's it. Thank you so much, Alex. That was a lot of great information. And I love the discount. Um, does anyone have questions for Alex? Just unmute yourself if you do. Hey, hey Alex. Alex, it's Joanne. Um, I have one question. The Facebook to Instagram, I used to do that all the time, but there are some photos that don't necessarily pull over the same that they show on Facebook on Instagram. So I actually stopped doing that and do it now separately. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, so it, it all comes down to the size again of the of the photo. Um, there are programs out there that you can use that will actually regenerate those photos so that they are the right format for each of the platforms. Um, most of the time, I find that if it's going from Instagram to Facebook, it's way more seamless. Um, it all depends on, I guess, if you're having it multiple times versus um, just a one-off. Again, it, it depends on the size of the photo. Alex, yes, sir. what is better, posting the video in your news feed or posting it in those little ones at the top that disappear after 24 hours, or does it matter? So it definitely, I would say it's better to post it in your news feed so then it's always going to be there, but then having it posted in the story, there's just there's certain people that will just look at your story and go on to everyone else's stories. And then there are people that will see the post show up. And the other problem with that is that there's an algorithm as far as who is seeing your posts. So if you can post it out in two different places, that's, that's key. All right. Thanks. I just want to make sure we're capturing the comments in the chat room. Um, Alex can be found online at www.44inc.com. Happy anniversary, Alex. Thank you. You are a great resource to have in this area. Well done and congrats on your anniversary. Happy anniversary, Alex. Really great to know that you're in the area and offer these services. And I'm happy to say as the president of the chamber, he's actually on our board. He's a director. So we have this right within arm's reach. <laughs> Any other questions for Alex? Thank you again, Alex. No, no problem. Now we'll move on to our prizes. So as a speaker for a business after five, you provide um, two prizes. 
One will be drawn this evening and the other one will go into our um, chamber social that we will be having in November. So the first prize donated by Alex is a round of mini golf for two at Skull Island. Alex, can you pick a number from one and 30? I gotta go with uh, 24 for my daughter's birthday. Okay, so the closest to number 24 is Joanne Cole Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Yay, that's awesome. Thanks so much, Alex. <laughs> you win the uh, golf for two at Skull Island. So you can get in touch with Alex to arrange for um, getting that prize. I'll put my email address in the contact. Wonderful, awesome. thank you. And the second prize that Alex provided was a 25. <laughs> a $25 gift um, card and that will go into the chamber holiday social in November. Um, our second prize of the evening to be drawn is a digital marketplace business expo free exhibitor booth. So Alex, if you want to pick another number between one and 30, please. I'm going to go with seven. Number seven is Tara. Congratulations, Tara. You win a free exhibitor booth at the Digital Marketplace Business Expo. You can come That's contact. awesome. Thank you, guys. Actually, my birthday's on the 7th, Alex. So I was thinking, hi, you picked the 7th. It's my birthday. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Um, you can contact the chamber to um, claim that prize. Wonderful. Thank you, Colleen. You're welcome. Now we will move on to our exciting new expanded launch of the Digital Marketplace Business Expo, which is happening July 16th to the 19th. It's four full days of virtual business expo. And Sarah is going to give us a sneak peek on the business expo. Sarah? I needed to unmute myself. <laughs> uh, so we're excited to have you all here today to give you a sneak peek at our Digital Marketplace Virtual Business Expo. And as Colleen mentioned, it is taking place on Thursday, July the 16th. It starts at 9 a.m. and is going to end on Sunday, July the 19th at 5 p.m. So this is a, you know, a new and exciting way to run an expo or trade show virtually. And we're, you know, really happy at the Chamber to be able to provide you with this opportunity to be a part of this journey and explore the online world of promoting and supporting local business. Now we are looking for sponsors, speakers and exhibitors. And to submit your interest, all you need to do is fill in our online form at bit.ly forward slash chamber expo 2020. That's bit.ly forward slash chamber expo 2020. Now we did send a mailing earlier today via constant contact with a, with a direct link, um, you know, to the form. And we will also follow up with another mailing with the link so you can fill in the, in, in the form to indicate your interest. So let's take a look at the technology and online setup so you have a clearer picture of what it's all about. So I'm going to get to another part of my screen here. Okay, so here we are and we are on the event website for the expo. Now, this is the site that we will promote to the public. On this site, people can find out about the expo and see a list of speakers, sponsors, and exhibitors. 
it's here that they can also register for the event and submit their information for general admission tickets. So right now we're on the home page of the site and up here in the top left hand corner we see the logo for the Digital Marketplace Virtual Business Expo and next to it we see the Chamber's logo. Uh, just below that we see uh, the page menu, home, speakers, sessions, exhibitors, sponsors, and register. Below that we see the graphic for the expo and below that we have a countdown timer. So this is counting down the days to the launch of the expo. Below that we have some information about the Virtual Business Expo. And here we have, so this is, we have some placeholder content right now. So uh, you might be surprised to see your face here, Tyler. <laughs> but we have some placeholder content here right now, uh, just to show uh, the speakers and, and how that information appears on the site. So here we have Alex over here. If we, we hover over his card, it flips, right? And it shows his name, his company. And if we click on, uh, the two social, there's two icons here, the IN for LinkedIn and then the arrow. So if we click on uh, the social icon for LinkedIn, that's gonna take us over to Alex's LinkedIn profile. Take a moment, let's come up. So here we are. And then we can also go over to his website. If we scroll down a little further, we have sponsors. Uh, again, you know, placeholder content here. We are, you know, have a call out for speakers, sponsors, and exhibitors, but just wanted to put up a little bit of information so you can see what it, what it looks like. Okay. So then if we move over to the speakers tab, we see our list of speakers over here on the right-hand side. Uh, we are currently on Alex's uh, speaker profile, so you can see on the left-hand side his name, uh, the name of his business, his topic, uh, his LinkedIn, uh, link to his LinkedIn profile and website. Uh, he's here in Wasaga Beach, and he's here to help you during COVID-19. Um, here is the title of his talk, and this is, again, placeholder talk, uh, information we're going to change in his bio. So we could click on Christina over here and it will bring up her information. Now we also have a sessions tab and here on the session, I'm just going to flip over to Alex here again because I think we have some information for him. There we go. Got his picture there. So when we're on the ses sessions page, we see the various sessions or speaker topics and we see that listed on the right from top. Uh, to bottom, right? So we have landlord tenant issues, employment law, you know, how COVID-19 has impacted qualifying for a mortgage. Then when we click on a listing like I did with Alex's, you'll see his um, speaking topic on the left. You'll see his subtitle for his talk. And then below where it says, learn the steps to building your business online, that's where we can add more information about his topic. Okay. Now the really neat thing about this technology is that we can give you access to uh, a speakers portal. So you will be able to log in and you will be able to upload and self manage your content. Of course, if you do need any help, uh, we here are, you know, available to help you as needed. Okay, so next is our exhibitors menu. Now currently the exhibitors menu, it has a drop down, and this is going to change a little bit. You'll see it has a directory and floor plan. We will be hiding the floor plan uh, for this event because there isn't an in-person uh, component uh, uh, to the expo this time, but it is something that we can integrate for future uh, expos and trade shows. Uh, but if we click on the directory listing, then we're brought over to the exhibitors. Again, I have a couple in here for place, placeholder content. 
Uh, the exhibitors are listed here on the left hand side. You can search for exhibitors when you're when you're the Wasaga Beach Chamber of Commerce is selected right now. So on the right hand side, we can see the chamber's logo. We can see all of our social media, you know, connections, our web, a link to our website, and people can email us directly as well. Here you can add an intro video. I've just added one of our business after five just to show you again what's possible. And we have our address and we have our work in mobile phone numbers listed as well. And then just below that, we have a little bit of a description of what the chamber is about. And you can see, uh, you can see a little bit below there, you can see that I'm listed as the main contact there. Uh, and again, you know, just starting to fill in the site to give you an idea of what everything looks like and how we can promote you. Okay. Now, and just like uh, the speakers having uh, their own speakers portal that they can log into and upload their information and self-manage their content, we have that for the exhibitors. Um, and we also have that for the sponsors as well. So that's pretty exciting. So let me click over to, um, to our sponsors. and see we'll have you know the same you know the same you know type of information here you know listed for our sponsors as the exhibitors you know we have a little bit of here for uh for alex as well right so this is where all the sponsors will be listed on the website now we will be sending um, another mailing with more information about the various options and what's involved so, you know, please, we're asking you today to fill in the online form indicating your interest in being a speaker, an exhibitor, and or a sponsor. And if you are interested in more than one option, you can indicate that through the form as well. Now, the event website is also set up for the public to register for the event. Okay, so they just click on the register tab of the website. And then they'll just fill in their information and follow the prompts to get their tickets. So that's an overview of the event site and the online platform, you know, what we're going to use to promote the expo and your business as speakers, sponsors, and exhibitors. Now, the next natural question is, where do we go to connect during the event? So for the, you know, duration of the event, and it starts at 9 a.m. on Thursday, July 16th, and it runs through to Sunday, July 19th at 5 p.m. We have a virtual web portal that can be accessed on any device through a web browser like Google Chrome, Safari, Microsoft Edge, or Firefox. So I'm just going to pop over to that right now. Okay, so here's the login page to the Expo's web portal. You know, here we have a typical login page with the Expo's logo as well as the Chamber logo at the top. On the right, we have placeholder graphics and content that promotes the Expo and the title sponsors. Again, you know, we're still looking for sponsors and exhibitors, this placeholder content just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Now, if you're interested in being a title sponsor for this event, you know, fill in our online form to indicate your interest because your logo will go right front and center here. So then we can log in. Oh, okay, log in again. <laughs> All right. So uh, this is the virtual lobby that displays the Expo's uh, logo and chamber in the top you know, left-hand corner of your screen. The page menu items run from the top to the bottom along the left-hand side with your logo and business name just above the page items. Now for the public who are attending this event, uh, this area right here where there's the chamber logo and it says Wasaga Chamber, you know, that's going to show the uh, guest uh, profile image and their name. Now, in the center of our lobby, we see our social media feed. You know, we're pulling it in from Facebook. 
And here we can promote the event both on Facebook externally to the general public and to, the, to those who have bought tickets or who have tickets to the event. So that's pretty cool. And we, here we can you know, promote speakers, exhibitors, sponsors, tell people what's going on and invite them to come over to the expo. Now in the center of the lobby, we see, um, oh, so I'm just saying to actually to the right here of the, the, so, the social media feed, at the top, we see the peak and Georgian light. These, this is another spot for our title sponsors to advertise them. Uh, below this, we will be creating a lobby splash video. So this is gonna be an intro about the event and it's also going to uh, promote our sponsors and speakers. Below that, we have a, an announcement uh, section here. And if, you know, just typed in here, you know, announcing our title sponsor, the Wasaga Beach Chamber of Commerce. And this is something that will rotate as we make new announcements. Uh, over in the top uh, right-hand corner, you'll see uh, Alex's lo logo and the Chamber logo, they're rotating, okay? So that's just to the left of the bell, the icon for the bell in the top right-hand corner. So this is where our sponsor logos, that's another place where the sponsor logos will rotate and we can give you exposure. Uh, where the bell is, that's uh, our notification center. So as organizers of the event, we can send out notifications uh, specifically to the attendees. We can send out notifications specifically to speakers, exhibitors or sponsors or to everyone. So that's, you know, we're all used to that on Facebook and checking our, our notifications, right? Uh, just below that, we have our public lobby chat area. And there's two items here that we can toggle through. So right now, uh, where the green color is, we're, we're on the public lobby chat. When we're over here, this is the, the private chat. And, you know, whoever's in the lobby will see them here. And you can start to privately chat with them if you like. Uh, so there's lots of networking uh, options here. Now, to send a chat, See at the bottom in the right hand corner, send chat message. All you need to do is type your message there. You can add some emoticons. Oh, oh there they are. <laughs> Woo, flashing emoticons. Okay, might have to hold it down, but there's some emoticons there. And then to submit your message, all you need to do is to click on the arrow. And then that message is gonna pop up right where you see, hello and welcome to the Digital Marketplace Virtual Business Expo. All right, so that is uh, the lobby uh, for the event. Now, when we go to the menu items on the left-hand side, we see sessions. So when we click on the sessions tab displayed in the left-hand menu, uh, again, we see a list of speaker topics on the left. When you click on the plus icon, that's going to move uh, that session to your personal schedule. Okay, let me go back here. I'm going to go back to sessions. I'm going to add a couple just so we can see that. Oh, it's giving me a schedule conflict. Let's try someone else. Okay, well, we'll work on that one. So that's the personal schedule there. So that's pretty uh, neat that you can set your own schedule. Okay. Now, when you're clicked, when you're, you've selected a, a session, so this is a speaker's topic, right? So we'll click on this one. The title comes up at the top, CRA Requirements and COVID-19 Funding Options. And this is where we could post a video. That's where the pre-recorded video will go for that talk. Below is also all the social media icons. This is gonna be Colleen's talk. <laughs> and then we have a description uh, below that. So all the uh, speakers' um, talks will be pre-recorded and we will upload those. Um, the guests will be able to go through, guests, exhibitors, anyone, you know, we can all go through and listen to uh, the different talks uh, at our convenience and in our own schedule uh, because they'll be pre-recorded. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, oh, and just, just to take note in the chat section, uh, each uh, speaking topic or session, they have their own specific uh, public chat and private chat. So uh, Colleen, you know, you are the speaker for this uh, uh, session. You could go into private uh, chat, see who's here, 
right? And you can start to talk to them. That's another benefit of having these pre-recorded is that you can actually take the next step and start to chat with people, okay? All right. Uh, next is our exhibit hall. And so this is where all of our exhibitors will be uh, listed. Again, I have a couple here for placeholder content just to show you what it looks like. Uh, so uh, when you have selected an exhibitor, on the right, you'll see their logo, their business name, uh, their tagline. You'll be able to connect uh, through email, website, and, and social media uh, as well. Uh, there's in, a place for you to put information about your, your exhibit, and you can create a special uh, video uh, pre-recorded to help people learn about your business. Uh, you will be able to see when people have visited uh, your booth uh, in the private chat here, and you can chat with them. You can also send out messages through the general chat as well. Uh, the showcase area here, this is where we can highlight our sponsors. And we also have a networking area that's really neat. Uh, so this is where you can see all the attendees and you can uh, chat with the attendees. Speakers show up as well. Uh, so, and, and we can start chats um, with the speakers or attendees. You first start out by sending them uh, a private message. So I'm gonna send hello to Alex, start a chat. Okay, and then we can actually go to that next step if it makes sense we can join a video call. Now there is a little bit of a, you know, some steps to get that video call uh, going. Uh, there's some extensions and just allowing some things on our computer to make that happen, but you can do that right through this platform. It is so, uh, it's so neat. Uh, and I think with, you know, the experience we're getting through Zoom and other online and virtual platforms, I think this is becoming more, you know, we're getting the hang of it a little bit more and feeling a little bit more comfortable with it. Uh, now. So that's, um, you know, one of the benefits of being able to meet on Zoom and, and different tools like this. Okay, so um, we can see me here listed. So I'm an attendee um, and uh, I can go here into my account and I can set up um, my information, profile information. Actually, this is for this profile up here, uh, this one, and added a little bit of information about the chamber. Uh, profile picture, you know, website address, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So these are some of the uh, options that are available uh, for us to use. So it's a very comprehensive uh, system. It's really neat. Uh, it is like, you know, going, it, you know, you have to think about it kind of like going to a, a, an expo. It's just, we're just doing it virtually, right? So we can connect with attendees. We can connect with other exhibitors. We can watch their talks. We can chat with them and we can, you know, get the word out about our business and support other local business as well and also help those in our community. So, um, you know, uh, we're just really excited at the Chamber to offer this opportunity to promote your business, stay top of mind in challenging times, and join us as we lead the way in virtual event technology. So, as I mentioned, we are looking uh, for speakers, sponsors, and exhibitors and invite you to indicate your interest by filling in our online form. And I'm gonna go back over to our slideshow now and uh, I can show you that, that link again. So there's the link at the bottom, the bit.ly dot, um, the bit.ly link forward slash chamber expo 2020. Uh, I would like to open it up if anybody has any questions or comments, you know, about the information we uh, covered today during our sneak peek. So if you'd like to unmute yourself, if you do have a question or comment, you're also welcome to uh, make comments in the chat too, if you'd like. Sarah, it's Joanne, what's the costing for speakers, exhibitors, et cetera? Yeah, so right now um, we're, we're we have our plans in place, but we're going to send out a mailing uh, to give that information. But if you are interested, you know, just fill in that, that form for now, and we will make sure we get that information to you. Okay. And for you, well, the, the exhibitor, right? You, you have your exhibitor booth, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. For you, Joanne, it's free. Yeah. <laughs> As a prize winner. But yeah, I think um, 
it's a great program. The Ontario Chamber of Commerce and the Canadian Chamber of Commerce um, were the ones that really kind of steered us to this type when we were looking. So they've used it and uh, they feel that it's very user friendly as you get to know it and it's um, useful for different applications. So we'll likely be using it down the road again. So are there any other questions on the Business Expo? Thank you, Sarah, for doing Welcome. that. Now on to announcements and reminders. Please be sure to claim your place on the site, um, the digital marketplace that we announced a few months ago. The more businesses and info we can include the more we can direct and share within our community and support our businesses. Uh, the Business Expo is an expansion of the digital marketplace. There's a video recording a step-by-step -step live demo to help you claim your spot in the digital marketplace and it appears here on the screen. I'd also like to remind you all to keep reading our newsletters and e-blasts for up-to-date info on our virtual events, our business after fives, and updates from our community and government partners. You will find links for the series of financial resource videos for small business. We have been busy along with community partners creating a series of YouTube videos. As um, Alex uh, pointed out, YouTube is very popular to support the businesses. The series is titled Financial Resources for Small Business. It has been live for a few weeks now and the feedback has been great. Sarah has posted the link to the video series on our website and it appears here on the screen if you want to jot it down. The Chamber is an organization that is proud of their established relationships with various str strategic partners. These relationships go a long way to providing resources and opportunities for businesses to gain support through networking and information sharing that will be crucial for adapting to the changes that are emerging in the way we all do business. You may have noticed as Wasaga Beach residents and business owners, we have distributed the 2020 community guides throughout Wasaga Beach and surrounding areas and will continue our reach. It is a valuable tool as well as a guide to keep businesses top of mind in the community. A digital version is on our website and you can also find the recordings of our last January open house. Know your resources there as well. I'd also like to mention as members in good standing, you will have received your 2020 chamber membership decals along with a letter to update you on events coming up. So display them proudly on your window and Sarah will be emailing a digital version to add to your websites and social media profiles as well. As I mentioned before, the Canadian Chamber of Commerce and the Ontario Chamber of Commerce have been extremely busy advocating on our behalf with CRA and Queen's Park. We are in constant communication with our community partners, Centre for Business and Economic Development, RTO7, South Georgia Bay Tourism, and Tyler King, the Economic Development Officer with the Town of Wasaga Beach. Identifying, reviewing, and enhancing opportunities to provide support and financial resources for the community. Important information has been gathered from survey, surveys that business owners and residents have participated in. The surveys were a way to have your voice heard in a respectful, mature, and meaningful manner. In response to the comments and concerns from these surveys and feedback from our relationships with community partners, it was brought to our attention the need for further safety measures given Wasaga Beach is an active tourism destination. The Chamber has sourced 300 personal protective kits as a pilot project to have available for sale to visitors starting in July on the weekend and for anyone in need you can access them at the chamber building. The proceeds will be donated to the food bank. We felt since Provincial Parks is not opening Nancy Island 
this summer, there needed to be representation for the business community in marketing material. And as you can see on the screen, the kits include the Wasaga Beach Community Guide, the Wasaga Beach Map, a cotton face mask, and an eight ounce bottle of hand sanitizer, all inside a reusable mesh drawstring bag. We want to be able to supply more as the demand increases and to keep our business and resident community safe, and we need your help. There is sponsorship opportunity if anyone is interested. For a small contribution, your logo can be placed as a sticker on the hand sanitizer, as you see in one of the pictures. Remember, it is a great cause and a win-win situation. Please email me directly at Colleen B at wasagatax.com for more details and we'll um, arrange to have some more of those kits brought in. Are there any final questions on any of the subjects that we've covered today? I know it was a lot of material, but we have lots to share. We're doing lots of things. So that wraps up our third chamber virtual business after five. Thank you all for participating. I hope you had a chance to see some familiar faces, connect with some new ones, perhaps expand your circle of friends and business contacts and learned of some new valuable resources to help your business adapt and to give back to your community. I encourage you to reach out, get involved, give back to the community however you can, continue to support each other, listen, learn, and have a conversation with someone in a positive manner. We all have a common subject to talk about. We are all going through this, the COVID-19 and the history it is making. We're all going to need support to recover in the coming months by adapting our businesses in whatever ways we can. Let's help each other. We look forward to helping our businesses and continuing our work as the Wasaga Beach Chamber of Commerce to support the community and ensure we stay together strong. Hope to see you all involved in some way at our July 16th to 19th Digital Marketplace Business Expo. And our next Business After Five is taking place July 30th. So stay safe everyone. And thank you for joining us this evening.